Now, what you might not see on cable news is the fact that hundreds of pro-democracy activists have, walked, have marched hundreds of miles, walked hundreds of miles to advocate for getting money out of our political system. Now, this is amazing. This is according to Common Dreams. Now, apparently, these marchers just today arrived in D.C. and joined thousands of other supporters to launch a full week of mass sit-ins and direct actions as well as protests in D.C., in the nation's capital. Awesome. Now, now that they're in D.C., they're actually going to uh, hold some rallies, do some direct chat actions, do some sit-ins and teach-ins all throughout the, the, the rest of the week. In fact, just today, they were holding a sit-in on the steps of Congress, and over a hundred people just today have been arrested, including Cenk Uger, host of the Young Turks and head of the TYT network, of which I'm a part of. I have to give that disclaimer. Yes, I'm part of the TYT network. Yes, he's sort of kind of my boss in a way, but not really. Um, I get my checks from there. That's what matters. Anyway, um, yes, Cenk Uger has been arrested himself at doing this sit-in. Very interesting stuff. Uh, they're doing all sorts of uh, streaming on their Facebook page as we speak. Uh, now, who organized this march? Well, the Mass March for Democracy was organized by a coalition called Democracy Spring. Now, there's also another group uh, that is called Democracy Awakening, or I believe it will one group will morph into another and they'll all join. Um, is uh, this week, uh, this week's demonstrations get done. Now, after this full week, the events will culminate with a uh, Congress of Conscience Day of Action on Monday, April 18th. Now, uh, that's where uh, hundreds more from both groups have pledged to uh, protest and risk arrest. Now, that's pretty awesome. I like seeing this grassroots stuff. Um, especially this this activism, getting out there and saying, hey, we're the American people and we're kind of pissed that we don't have our control of our government anymore. It's in the control of the oligarchs, the politicians, and the lobbyists who fund them. We don't like that. We're going to go out and show you how much we actually care about our democracy by risking arrest. That's awesome. Now, there are more goals other than just get, getting money out of politics, which is one of the major goals and should be because that's one of the major problems facing our democracy and getting in the way of people actually having an impact at all on the government. Now, they also want real legislative action in different ways. In fact, according to Common Dreams, Democracy Spring is calling on Congress immediately to enact four bills. And this is the Government by the People Act and Fair Elections Now Act, the Voting Rights Advancement Act of 2015, the Voter Empowerment Act of 2015, and the Democracy for All Amendment. Now, all these sound like it's going to expand voting and protect voting, which is what we should be doing already. I mean, it's unconscionable. In 2015, we've actually seen in states where governors and, and uh, legislators have actually tried to restrict voting with things like voter ID and different voter suppression laws. That's insanity. Why are we doing this? Why are we allowing them to get away with it? Well, it turns out that's exactly the questions that this group or these groups and these protesters are asking. Why did we let them get away with it for so long? Well, we're not. We're not going to take it lying down anymore. In fact, we might be actually be taking it sitting down, but we will be protesting and we'll be telling you exactly what we think. Our government is corrupt. Our government is bought. And we're here to put a stop to it. Awesome. Now, the groups are also calling on the Senate to confirm a nominee to the Supreme Court who will uphold political equality. Now, I don't exactly think that'll be Merrick Garland, which is the current Obama nominee. But seriously, this is good. All these goals are goals that we should all be trying to attain. And on the protests... This is also good. We need to let our politicians know through nonviolent action that we've had enough of their bullshit, had enough of their corruption. But sit-ins and protests are not the only action that should be taken. We should also take more direct action. And I've seen a lot of that. For example, you've got people calling and 
uh, calling their members of Congress and telling them, look, this is what we think, and this is what we think you should do. We should get you to stop accepting legalized bribes and actually support amendments calling for the overturn of Citizens United. That would be great. And there are lots of people out there doing that and making those calls right now. Now, you also have people that are running for local office. Uh, there's a guy in Arizona. After this whole uh, you know, voter suppression uh, thing in, in Arizona, on the Democratic side, one guy had enough and said, look, I'm going to run for office. I'm going to challenge you for your seat. Take that. Blame the voters for your long voting lines. I'm going to take you on. And maybe I'll win. And then, of course, you have another uh, person in Ohio, a friend of the show by the name of David Sparks, who's a Bernie supporter. Um, he's running for office in Ohio. You have grassroots activism. This is real grassroots activism with a real achievable end. This is all to help a progressive res revolution. And these actions, along with the protests, are happening for one reason. The people, we... We, the people, want our democracy back for the people, not for the corporations and not just for the wealthy, wealthy campaign contributors. And look, it's about time that we took the fight to them because now we're starting to realize that when we fight, we win.